Hi there, I'm Mike Patch. Uh, I'm one of the primary developers of GNU Backgammon. And if you're watching this video, you've probably recently come to me uh, or an acquaintance of mine um, with regards to your match files not being saved. And um, I'm here to tell you that your files have likely been saved. It's just that they're in a different um, location. So um, to start us off, I've got a screen here with a uh, Safe Harbor game, um, and uh, I've just completed a match, a fake match. Uh, I resigned off and got it to save uh, the file here, and you'll see that uh, I have a check mark up here by match log. If you don't have a check mark by match log, then your files aren't saved, and uh, you'll need to turn it on. When you turn it on, a box will appear. Just click OK on it, um, and your files from that point on will be saved. Now, where are your files being saved, and how do you get your bot to see them? Well, Safe Harbor Games made a change in the last couple of weeks, and the files are no longer being stored in the same place. The location is similar, but not exact. So here's an example of what you're probably uh, seeing today. Um, you'll notice that uh, there's a big long path name with a file name in it. And among it, the text is the Safe Harbor Games. Well, Safe Harbor Games inside of Documents is where your file is being stored underneath backgammon and the match file. But the key thing is, is that it is Safe Harbor Games. This changed in the last couple of weeks. Safe Harbor Games is the new location. The old location was in My Harbor Games. And it's a subtle change, but unless you're directed to it, you won't know. So uh, your files have likely been saved in this new location. And your uh, bot, like Extreme Gammon, is not uh, pointed at the appropriate location. It's your bot is pointed at the old location, and SHG is pointed at the new location. So how is it that you can resolve this problem? Well, it's relatively simple. Extreme Gammon, I'll just bring it up here. Uh, you normally go into File, and then Import, and then Safe Harbor Games. And um, you'll have something like this, except your matches will be different. And you'll notice that I have matches only up to 0418. Um, and um, the match that I just saved um, in the last few minutes is not listed here. It was me playing myself. And it's not here. I mean, I can just scroll down here and I don't see it. And this is probably what you're experiencing. This is the old location that Extreme Gammon is looking at. What you need to do is direct Extreme Gammon at the new location. So the question is, how do you do it? Well, you go over to Documents here on the left-hand side, and you double-click. And it will open up, and you'll actually see a bunch of these directories here. And you'll see yours will be different. I have Visual Studio on here, and you probably have a ton of other things. But you'll see somewhere in this list My Harbor Games and Safe Harbor Games. My Harbor Games is the um, old location, and new location is Safe Harbor Games. So what you want to do is double click on Safe Harbor Games. This is where all your new files are being stored. And then, uh, so you double click on it, and then you get this backgammon. This is a directory, and you double click on it again. And then you get match file, and you double click on it again. And voila, the file that I was just saving in my match played a little while ago is now listed. Great. Mpatch versus Mpatch. Um, and so the, the great i've now have access to this file so what you want to do is you want to open up at least one file in this directory uh, with extreme gammon so i'm just going to click on this file and i don't want to analyze it i'll just click little x and it is loaded this is great now once extreme gammon loads a match from a directory it will remember it from that point on, or until Safe Harbor Games changes their software again. They don't generally change their software, and the, the change that happened in the last couple of weeks was the first one in many years uh, that had any influence on where your matches go. So 
Uh, with that being said, if you close Extreme Gammon and then you go and load it back up, and I will have to apologize for the somewhat slow computer here. I just have to let it uh, come up. And it is a trial version on this particular machine. Uh, I do have a legitimate license. Uh, Xavier uh, does know that. Um, just not on this particular computer that I'm doing this demo on. So I'll just hit close. And then I want to go and I can do an import a game. And wow, I'm now lo looking at my new directory and my new um, uh, matches. And so all of your new matches will show up here as you play them. And Extreme Gammon will go to this location. So um, that is basically all you need to know um, to see your new files. The rest of this video are, is for advanced users. And if you're not an advanced user, I recommend uh, shutting off the video now. If you're an advanced user or um, you are a geek wannabe or a geek, um, then uh, listen on and I can explain some of the other uh, details about um, saving um, match files. So um, what we've got here is uh, Extreme Gammon and uh, what I wanted to show you is um, that if you change the new directory and you start getting your files um, uh, saved into them, uh, you might be asking yourself, well Mike, I, what happens if I want to go and load old match files that were in the old location? Well, what you do is you go to File and then Import and you've probably figured this out by now. Uh, so uh, you go over to Documents here and you double click and the old location is My Harbor Games. You double click on it and you double click on Backgammon and then you double click on Match Files and then oh, there are all of my old files again um, back into um, April here. And uh, what you can do is you can just load any one of these. So I will load this one here. and I'm not going to analyze it. But once it's loaded, um, um, it works just as normal. But you must be aware that once you load a file from the old location, Extreme Gammon will now use it as the default uh, the next time you do an import. So if you go File and Import, and Safe Harbor Games, you'll see that it's no longer pointing into that new directory with the one file in it. So um, in order to get back, you'd have to click on Documents, and then you go to um, Safe Harbor Games, and then Backgammon, and Match File, and then, oh, there's your file. And then you just open it. And now once this file is open, uh, this directory uh, with which we just loaded this file uh, is now the default. And if you go back in here, you'll actually see it's it's pointed at your new directory. This is probably how you'll want to keep it, but I'm just giving you the information just in case um, you wish to go back and forth. Uh, now, I'll just hit cancel here. Another th key thing is, is that um, Safe Harbor Games now makes it possible for you uh, to save your matches anywhere you wish, effectively. So we'll go over to Safe Harbor Games to our table. Now, at the beginning of this video, I, I talked to you about um, uh, the match log check mark. If it was on, um, you were good to go. I'm going to turn it off, and you'll actually see down here it says Auto Match Log Save Turned Off. And if you turn it back on, you get presented this window. Now, this window allows you to specify uh, where to save. Now, one thing that you might want to do, which some people uh, have done, uh, including Knight Stallion, uh, or uh, people may refer to him as Sean, um, he and uh, some others prefer to save their new matches in their old match file directory. So how, does, how do you go about doing that? Well, My Harbor Games is the new locator, is the old location. And Safe Harbor Games is the new location. So what you want to do is you just um, double click My Harbor Games and you'll see this backgammon appear. It's a folder. You double click uh, backgammon and then your match files folder appears and then you double click match files. And once you double click on it, there's um, a highlight bar around it. 
and then you just hit OK. Now once you hit OK, all of your future matches will be saved um, into the old location. So we can try this. Uh, I'm just going to play a, an opening move here. Uh, uh, I'm just going to play anyway. Uh, and then, uh, oops, I'm going to resign this. I'll resign the three points. Then I'll accept it. Now, um, the files are now being stored in the old location, My Harbor Games. And you'll actually see that this is different than previous because this was Safe Harbor Games before. And that's the big difference. So now it's saved the files into the old directory. Now you can keep it this way. So if you go into Extreme Gammon, uh, you will need to go into Import, Safe Harbor Games, uh, and then into Documents. Now, we just started saving into the old location and we need to point there. So we go to My Harbor Games, Backgammon, Match Files, and you'll see my match files uh, that I just saved um, are now in the old directory. Now, um, as long as you don't change the directory, they will continue to be saved here. So this is if you want to go back to saving your new files in the old directory. And once you load a file from this directory, uh, Extreme Gammon will remember that. So we'll go to Import, Safe Harbor Games again, and you'll see them there. Uh, as well as something that you should be aware of is that when you do File, Import, and then um, I last uh, game played, um, it will remember whatever directory you last used um, to load a file from, which was Safe Harbor Games and the old directory. So if I go to Last Game Played, um, it uh, opens up uh, my last game. And that is actually about it. Um, if you have any questions, um, uh, you can always contact me at mpetch at gnubg uh, dot org. Um, and if that didn't come across clearly, um, I've typed it into the text box. Uh, if you are using GNU Backgammon, you can contact me at this email and I can actually give you instructions uh, for doing a similar thing in uh, GNU Backgammon. Uh, it, but the premise is the same, that the directory has changed and you simply have to go and tell GNU Backgammon which directory you need to load from. And um, what was taught at the beginning of this video it, um, is similar to what GNU Backgammon does, but the uh, window to select files is a little bit different. So I hope this has been helpful, and uh, I wish you a, a, a good day, uh, and thank you for listening.